At this point, we have our navigation in the form of our bottom navigation bar, so we can go to different pages. However, for some of these pages, we want to include a common header. So we want to make a reusable header widget. This header is going to be provided as the app bar for our scaffold. That's how most of our pages are going to be organized with a scaffold widget that consists of a top app bar and a body parameter for its body content. So what are the pages that we want to have this common header on? We want to have it on our timeline page as well as the profile page. And we're going to have two types of headers. One header on the timeline page that shows our app title with our custom font using our custom font. That's going to be a little bit bigger. And then on our profile page, we won't use the custom font and the title is going to be a bit smaller and it's just going to have the name profile. So let's first work on the one for the timeline page. So we'll open up our timeline page in our pages directory. And in our build function, we want to return the scaffold widget, as I mentioned earlier. That'll consist of an app bar. And for our app bar, we're going to use the header widget located in our widgets folder. So we'll provide that and import its file. And then for the body, we can just keep the previous text widget with the text's timeline. And now let's head to our header widget. And again, we have a text widget here, but we're going to replace this with an app bar widget, as you would expect. And so this function called header is going to return this created app bar. So what is it going to have on it? Well, first of all, it's going to have a title, which is going to be set to a text widget. And this is going to first include the name of our app, Fluttershare. And we'll style it with the text style class, where the color will be colors.white. The font family will be our custom font of Signatra. And the font size, 50.0. We want to center the title on our app bar. So we'll set the value center title to true. And finally, we can set a background color. And we're making the text here white. I'm personally going to use my accent color from theme.ofContext.accentColor. But note that we're getting an error here. It's not able to find our context. And that's because since we're using this reusable function, we're not providing context as a parameter. So we need to pass context from the build function of our timeline widget to our header function. So we'll provide context as an argument there. Then back in our header function, we'll provide that as the first parameter. And that error should go away. And with that, let's save both of these files. And we'll see how this looks in our simulator. So we have our app title. It's centered with our custom font. And we have our accent color as our background color. So that's good. Now moving on to our profile. Let's open up our profile page in Pages. From Build, we're going to return another scaffold, where we'll have our app bar. We'll set it to our header. We'll make sure to pass down context and, of course, import our header widget. Then for the body, just have the text profile. So we can save to see that this works, but as you would expect on our profile page, we're going to get the exact same result. So how are we going to change the text as well as the size of the text as well as the font family dynamically? Well, just like we passed down the context, we can pass down other values. We can provide additional arguments to determine what we display within our header to make this more extensible. So let's head back to header. And let's say to specify if we wanted a header with our app title, we had a parameter called is app title. We would wrap this in a set of curly braces to make this a named parameter. And this value would just be a Boolean, which would by default be false. So for example, when we wanted to display our app title on our timeline, we'd have to provide to header the named 
argument is app title and set that to true. Now using that value we can within header set up a number of conditionals where first of all for our text if is app title is true we would use the text Fluttershare otherwise we would use some other text that we would need to pass down. So let's say we had another argument, a named argument called title text that was a string. We would use that instead. So since for the header on the profile page we're not using the text flutter share, we need to say title text is profile as we mentioned. Then for the color we'll leave it as the same. For the font family we'd say if it's the app title then we'd use the custom font otherwise just an empty string to use our default font and for the font size if it's the app title we'd use our larger size of 50 otherwise the smaller size of say 22. So now that we've got all these conditionals let's save both of our files and check out the result. So we see for profile we have the text profile it's smaller not using our custom font but we still have the previous app title font for the app bar on our timeline page. So now we have a totally reusable, customizable app bar that we're going to be making use of in a number of different pages. And by creating this custom function, all we have to do is execute it with a couple of simple arguments instead of having to rewrite our app bar widget everywhere that we want to include it.